please be sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Why do we shock swimming pool water? Let's start from the beginning. There are two types of chlorine in your pool, free chlorine and total chlorine, and they are measured in parts per million. The ideal range for free and total chlorine for a residential swimming pool is between 1.0 and 3.0 parts per million. Free and total chlorine should always be equal, however in the real world they tend to separate. As chlorine sanitizes and oxidizes the pool water, some of the chlorine becomes a chloramine, and a chloramine is a bad chlorine. Let's do the math. For example, we test the pool water and find the following, a total chlorine reading of 3.0 and a free chlorine reading of 2.0. This gives us a combined chlorine of 1.0. It is the combined amount that needs to be removed by shocking the pool. Shocking your pool kills chloramines or the bad chlorine. It rejuvenates the water and removes organic materials in the pool water, such as oils, lotions, sweat, urine, algae, and other particles. Shock works by utilizing a large amount of chlorine at once. This elevates the chlorine levels to a breakpoint, and once the breakpoint is achieved, chloramines are burned off and both free and total chlorine are equal again. A good rule of thumb is one pound of shock, or one gallon per 10,000 gallons. For an example, in a 25,000 gallon pool, 2.5 pounds of granular, or 2.5 gallons of liquid shock are used, and applying properly will burn out chloramines. Also make sure to monitor pH, as poor pH will reduce effectiveness. There are different kinds of shock. Calcium hypochlorite, which is refresh, TKO, scorch, or burnout three, dichloro, which is SOS, quick shock, or smart shock, a sodium monopersulfate, which is a non-chlorine shock, sold as Scorch Plus, and sodium hypochlorite, or liquid shock. Calcium hypochlorite is the most powerful and fast-acting shock. It's granular-based and most frequently used. The concentration varies between 58% and 73%, and these chlorines are unstabilized, meaning the product is added, burns on chloramines, and rapidly dissipates out. Dichloro is a stabilized chlorine, which means it has cyanuric acid in it. It maintains in the water for a longer period of time, it's fairly pH neutral, and usually allows you to swim within 10 to 15 minutes. A monopersulfate, or non-chlorine shock, is the non-chlorine alternative. It's an oxidizer only, which means it burns out chloramines, but is not a disinfectant. It rejuvenates the water without using chlorine, it's fairly pH neutral, and also allows you to swim within 10 to 15 minutes. And the final type of shock is sodium hypochlorite, or liquid. It's a 12.5% unstabilized chlorine with a pH of 12, which will raise the pH of the pool water. One gallon is treated for 10,000 gallons, and usually you have to wait 12 hours to swim.